Hello and welcome back to the channel. What's this? Two videos inside of a, a year? <laughs> oh, that's kind of sad to think about. Anyway, as I mentioned in the Easter vlog that came up recently, I wanted to give you guys a bit of a peek behind the curtain as to what our life has been like during this pandemic. Because as I kind of alluded to in the Easter vlog, I started a new job a few weeks ago. The day that I started my new job was the first day that Duncan was off school. It was the first day that the daycares were closed, and it was shortly thereafter that like all businesses started shutting, and Christina was luckily able to start working from home with me as well. So as you're kind of seeing down here, this is my current home office setup. I do have my desk over here with the iMac and two extra monitors. I bring my work laptop down here from time to time, but it's a pretty rare occasion. I've even taken a few meetings on these bean bags because I've got a little laptop stand over here. I can set everything up. I can also put things up here on the treadmill desk. I've done that for a few meetings. However, the working from down here has been pretty slim because of what you'll see here in a moment. So this is where Christine has been kind of living for the last month. She's got her workstation set up here at the kitchen counter. Normally, Ellis would be at the table here, but he is currently playing. He loves these, yeah. I prefer and, being in my office downstairs, Yeah. that's not always possible. Yeah. And of course, he's making mess everywhere. Cats are kind of taking over the place. This is my little setup that I've got for the moment. Got my work laptop on one side, personal laptop on the other, just to keep everything separate. And I sit in the middle and do what I can when he's not screaming and throwing an absolute fit. But that does leave one of us unaccounted for, and that would be Duncan. Duncan is currently reading about farts, and we're finishing up some schoolwork for the day. He is back in school as of today, and school is apparently bed for the moment. But anyway, that's just sort of a quick look at what it's like during the working day in our house. It's hectic, it's stressful, but we are making it work. Ellis has honestly been one of the most difficult parts because keeping him entertained while trying to get work done, very, very difficult, as you might imagine. It's been a few days, it's Thursday, I think, at this point, and as you can probably see, very similar to what it was the last time that I checked in. I do have my desktop in the background up at the moment. I was down here for like an hour earlier having meetings with my coworkers. And upstairs, as I mentioned before, very similar. Except this time, Duncan's doing his homework on the Chromebook. Again, Christina doing her work, stack of work there on the desk. Eating a snack. And a snack. And Ellis continuing to watch cartoons, and in this case, having kind of a healthy snack with an apple. Good stuff. By the way, I don't think I've shown it yet, but this is the office Christina spends an awful lot of time in. So we got her a new couch. She's using this white table as a desk. You got the iMac and then two additional monitors and a couple of plugs so that she can hook her laptop up down here. She's also working on grad school. So over there in the background, there's a book for business law. I think she's still got at least two more weeks of that class left and then several more classes beyond that. She's working towards an MBA while also helping keep the kids in line here at home, keeping the whole household sort of in line. It's a very stressful time. And we're back. As you might have noticed by the date down in the corner of the video, this has been going on for several weeks now. I kind of wanted to show in this video just how life has been during this healthy at home is what we're calling it here in Kentucky. I think we're going on 56 or 57 days now, something like that. But I did turn the camera back on today because I had something that was just a little fun. We've kind of reached the point in quarantine, not quarantine, we've kind of reached the point where we have to do something else to be a little bit more exciting. By the way, I have not mentioned it yet, but this is something I've been working on here in my little basement office. These sets of shelves used to be in what we were using as a guest bedroom in the front of our house. I guess it must have been an office before. But I went through over the last few weeks and I pulled these out. They were built-ins and unfortunately they were like four inches too tall to be able to leave that front room. So it was either cut them up entirely or just cut off the bottom because it wasn't actually shelf. It was just a riser. So I cut all those off and I reassembled down here and I am using it as like camera and lens storage and cable storage and management and stuff just to get a better space in my office. Anyway, let's go back upstairs. Let's look at what was kind of fun and interesting. So today... This is what I bought. You bought 12 of them. I did buy 12 of them, you are correct. They had a deal on Amazon where if you bought like two of them, I think it was 15 or $20. If you bought 12 of them, it was like 20 to $25. So this is B&M brown bread 
I've only seen it in, I think, one or two videos on YouTube. I thought it looked interesting, and the videos of it, the people didn't seem to be that concerned with it. And Christina is a bread person. Not that she's made of bread, she loves bread. And actually, I think most of the people in our family love bread, so we're gonna pop this open and see. The instructions, I think, say that you have to open the top and the bottom, and then push it out, because there's like a vacuum. This is ready-made bread. It's making a hiss. Noises. It hissed. The good thing about this, if we like it, we've got 12 cans of it and it will last until 2022. When he brought it in the house, it was wrapped up in plastic with all 12 cans. I thought he had brought home dog food. It's not dog food. So that's what it is. It's brown bread. It might come out on its own, but once you pop that bottom, it might just pop, fall out too. Let's try it too. Nope, Ellis wants to try it too. So let's see. Let's see me. Let's see you, okay. There you Hi. Are. Hi. I'm Turn the screen around so you can see you. Hi. <laughs> with the Ellis with the crazy hair. How are you supposed to get oh. it out? Yeah, that'll work. I'm gonna cut some of the outside of the bread off, but that's fine. Well, I thought that might help. <laughs> it says no. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's coming out. So there is a loaf of brown bread in a can. Looks delicious. Mm-hmm. You, you want to slice off a slice? The, the video that I saw before, they were like slicing down the side of it. It's like, just turn it on its side and cut off a circle. I think the can mentions like you can toast it and you can put warm butter on it and... It does not smell particularly fabulous. It's not? I haven't, I can't smell it from here. I guess I'm gonna take the first taste. Yep, you are. It smells syrupy. There's molasses in it. It does have molasses, so maybe it's molasses I'm smelling. I don't love it. Look! I don't like it. Look! I don't hate it. It mentioned toasting it and using it for sandwiches and things. And we got an awful lot of it. Let's see. I don't really want to. That's a face. Me. Well, Christina was not a fan. It Let's see if Ellis likes it. He's said me, me, me about 50 times so far. Mm. Let's see. He does not like it. Mm. She's thinking about it. <laughs> Thumbs up. I think it is that molasses taste that's kind of... I don't know. I don't know how to place it. It's very moist. Moist. Moist is a word. And I don't want moist bread. Yeah, you do. Only if it's like a... A sweet bread. Sweet bread. Though. And it is kind of sweet. I might have to try it with like butter on it or something. Maybe toast it. We'll see. I managed to pull Duncan out of his cave. He's been up watching YouTube all day. I'm gonna try to get him to try the brown bread. Try it without the butter first. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> mm -mm. So, not a fan. Mm -mm. I put some butter on it. I just put a spread on it and... It's not as bad. <laughs> it's still not something that I'm gonna wanna eat 12 cans of, but I think at the worst case scenario, like if we were in a disaster situation and there was no food to be had, I could definitely eat it. You, maybe. Maybe. Like if the world was ending, the zombies are outside the door, and that is the only food left. It's either that or like moldy potato. I'll cut the mold off the potatoes. Yeah. And I just realized days and days later that I'd never actually finished up this video. That's sort of what life has been like for us. All four of us crammed in a house together, trying to do work while trying to keep Ellis entertained, helping Duncan finish his schoolwork. He is finally done with school for the year, which is awesome, but that does mean he's been spending a lot of time watching YouTube, playing video games, and there's no real clear end in sight. Hopefully, we'll be able to send the kids back to some form of daycare middle of June, maybe the end of June, possibly July, I don't know. Once that's done, Christina's gonna be able to start going back to work sometime in mid-June, and I will be working from home. My, As I mentioned a couple of times, I think my new job is 100% work from home, which is awesome. It's just been very, very difficult because we have all been here, and for the most part, it's just been keeping Ellis entertained while also getting work done has been a struggle. So that's when I'm gonna wrap the video up. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Maybe we'll do some more vlogs if we can find something interesting. I know this weekend we're gonna be going out of town for Memorial Day to see my family, the first time we've actually gone on a trip since this started because they've said it's kind of safe to go see friends and family now on a very, very limited basis. So we're gonna go see my parents and go out on their boat this weekend. So maybe I'll make a video from that. But thank you, as always, for watching, if I hadn't said that already. I guess we'll see you again next time, hopefully sooner than last time. Bye, guys.